guys, I may or may not get interrupted, but if I do, it's no surprise I always do anyways. So I'm back with a horror story, actually. Um, animated horror story by Wayne's Entertainment. I haven't watched him in a while. True Stalker Horror Story Animated. It, said, it says true, but even if it didn't say true, I would believe it, just because stalkers are literally just, like, inevitable. I swear, even if you're, like, not the best looking, you'll still probably get a stalker, so... My fan is on, because it's really hot, so don't mind me. If you're here, I'm done. But yeah, true stalker horse train. Anyway, let's go. Narrator. Narrator by Southern back, Central. I was a shift manager for a local big box pharmacy and convenience store. It was right across my backyard, and I could probably sprint there in under a minute if I really wanted to. So it really worked out for me. That's good. I was in my late 30s. I worked out quite a lot, and while I was fit, I was still a smaller girl. Even though I was married, and I would constantly get hit on and asked out. It was pretty flattering, but it always made me feel really awkward. Mm. Now, this particular store I worked at was in a really weird part of town. It was on the right side of town to attract the Karens, but close enough to the not-so-good side of town to attract the drug addicts, drunks, and psychopaths. Mm. Anyway, let me say Great. that I'm not someone that gets scared easily. I've had someone high on meth crash their car into the side of the store, causing the back of our store to bend inward because we didn't carry pineapple juice. I had a man pick me up and throw me over his shoulder and start walking out the door with me, saying that I'd make a good wife. He's giant. Yeah. That's one for another time. Holy shit. Anyways, it all started on a Sunday morning. I remember this because I was really busy building end caps and making cell signs. I was working with my favorite coworker, so the day was flying by and I was really bubbly this day. There was a man and his son that came into the store and they made a beeline for me. The man was probably just a little under six foot and he was skinny. The man had dreadlocks and a long skinny silver earring dangling from his ear. He also had this really tan trench coat that I found really odd because it was summer. Nonetheless though, I had then greeted them and asked if they needed some help. The man spoke with a really thick Jamaican accent and he said that his GPS stopped working and he wanted to see if we had any. I let out a really small laugh thinking he was messing with me. Uh, no, that would be at Best Buy or something, but we do have a small section of electronics on this wall over here. I indicated the wall to the back of me. Oh, thanks, he said, taking a look but also keeping his eyes on me. Something about those eyes just really chilled me. He was speaking another language to his son, but I kept going on about my task for the day, and he would call me to help him, asking me questions about chargers and SD cards. I answered them, and then he started telling me how beautiful I was. Back to fuck Really up. awkwardly, I had thanked him. You must work out, yeah? He asked. Yes. Um, yeah, yoga mostly. I replied while getting more and more uncomfortable now. He made some more comments about my body, telling me how he loved my tattoos, and he was just really being a creep. I tried to stay polite, though, and eventually I just walked away to do some more work. I started to avoid him, but he was still staring at me. It's so creepy like that. The man had his phone out, and I kept hearing the shuddering of a camera. I went to the office to tell my other coworker that I thought the guy was taking my picture, and I was just really feeling uncomfortable. He then came out and watched over me. Shortly after my coworker came out, the man and his son then left. By the time the end of my shift came, I forgot about him. A few weeks later, I was up for ringing customers with a different coworker. We were crazy busy that day, but I was the manager on duty. After we got the line down, my coworker then handed me an envelope. Uh, what's this? I asked her. I don't know. Some man in dreadlocks told me to give it to you. She said. Oh no. I took the envelope I'd be and I took off this with it. It's photos of her. the envelope for dozens and dozens of pictures of me. My heart sank. Bro. I had no idea that these were taken. Most of them were of me in the store while working, some of me walking home, and some even with me and my daughter. I felt sick. There was also a note with it. 
It says something along the lines of, You're so beautiful. I'm in love with you. I'd be a much better husband than what you have now. Please give me a chance. Oh my god, I'd call the police there was right now. to it, but it's in police evidence now. Right. The guy really stupidly left his name and address. I then called our store manager as well as the police. Smart. They took our camera footage, my statement, and the pictures and letter. They told him that he really needed to stay away from me or the next time he's getting arrested and he's banned from the store. Yep. I was really relieved, but still really bothered I'd by I'd be scared. It. A few more weeks to about a month then went by. It was another really busy Sunday night. It was just myself as the manager on duty, and we had another co-worker as my cashier. We were ringing things up together when I noticed a man staring at me. Oh, no. The man was tall with a medium build. Is that the same guy? He had dreadlocks, and he had the same earring and long trench coat as the other man did. Do not change. This man was really scary. Must His eyes now. were just cold and really dead and angry. It felt like they were staring right through my soul. He didn't have anything to purchase, just stood and stared. He's mad. I tried to smile politely at him, then another wave of customers came. Who's I that? got lost in helping everyone, but didn't see the man anymore. Even when things calmed down, I Two still didn't see him. I decided to go start facing the back of the store, and I told my coworker to call me if she needed me. As I was back there, Bad I had idea. a Jamaican accent and all over. I looked up at the mirror to see that same scary man on the phone. Yeah, she's here. No, it's just one other girl here with her. I can grab her when she leaves. No problem. I was absolutely horrified. He didn't see me, so I slowly made my way up to the front. I briefly tell my coworker what's going on and then call the police and store manager. The cops took him away. God. A few days later, a detective came to speak to me. The two men were brothers. Oh, sh oh shit, they're different. They were abducting women and actually using them for human trafficking. He told me I was really lucky. I later found out that they had apparently found a woman beaten to death in their apartment. They have both since gone to prison. For how long? This still gives me really bad nightmares. What happened to that woman could have easily been me. But thank God it wasn't. But yeah, I'm gonna say this really quick because my sister's gonna be back upstairs in a second. But yeah, like, you, she honestly did pretty good things. It just sucks that you're a minute away because then if he's a, He could literally follow you. Like, I would not want to leave. Like, she didn't really specify what time she was working till. It said 02, so I'm like, is that 2 in the morning or 02 as in like PM, like as in 14, right? Because I work at security, so it's, four, it's 24 o'clock. So I don't exactly know how they do it, but it said 02, and so I don't know if that means 2 in the morning. Because like it was nighttime when she was outside that, that that last night. I don't know if she was working nights, but then she said Sunday morning, so she working more like mornings and nights. Like how does that work? So it all depends on what time of the day she's working. Obviously the camera footage is great because obviously there's camera footage everywhere around the store, inside and outside, which is obviously great. Needed obviously for this particular reason. It's just crazy how like some people really just like stalk others and like literally creep on them and like prey on them. It's scary. Like honestly, it's scary. So please be careful, guys. I will always have a phone on you when you're walking at night. I always have a phone on you ready to call 911 because you'll probably need to at some point. If you're working late, try to like have someone watch you when you leave, you know? Sorry, basically I interrupted again. <laughs> but yeah, basically just be careful. Try to have someone watching you if you're, you know, alone. Call somebody because then if someone, if, if you're on the phone with somebody, and someone attacks you, at least they know you're in trouble. And if they know the way that you walk home, they can always call the police or do something for you. So just like safety things, you know, and maybe have like your location on so people know where you are. So if, if, if a friend knows you got attacked or something, then there you go. You literally got the thing right there. Like you got the uh, people right there that um, can track you and know where you are. So yeah, just be careful. Do these safety little things. And then yeah, just at work, it's scary having a stalker because if you live close by, then it's like, you're literally close by, if someone can follow you, you're literally, you, you cross the road, you're at home, they know where you live, and then that's it, you're fucked. And then once they know where you live, you gotta kind of move away, you don't have to, but like, to, to escape them, you kind of have to move away, far away, so it's like, be careful. Like, there's been times where I thought people were following me, I guess they weren't, but, 
It seems as if they were sometimes, and maybe they weren't gave up, I have no idea. But yeah, just please be careful. That, uh, that'll be at the end of this video. I will try to do more horror, horror stories. I know I've said this numerous times. Just because I get tired and I don't really... And I know you guys like Jarman the most, and that gets the most amount of views. And if that's what you guys want to see the most, then I do that the most, you know? So, yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.